1. In tutorial 6, the C sound python binding, CSND6, was used. Rather than using it, we will create our own python module. 2. In the python module, to interact with C sound, first we import, into the namespace, the system, function from the OS module, and the sleep, function from the time module. Both these modules are built and part of Python standard library. The system function allows us to send strings to the command prompt to execute. The sleep function creates time delays. The list variable L is created. While L is not a descriptive name, it is easy to remember and type. Next the tags are held in different variables. The string variable names are more descriptive. This is because they are used less often, and further, a clearer name adds clarity to the program. 3. The first two functions in the module are described. The first is add, which is used to add any number of terms to the list, L. The function, header, is used to initialize for header variables. They are the sampling rate, number of control samples in one control period, number of channels, mono, or stereo, and amplitude. The amplitude, here, refers to the maximum, that is, all audio values have to be between minus amp, and positive amp. Further, in this code, all four of these values have defaults. Thus we do not have to initialize all of them, or even any of them, as long, as the function, header, is called. 4. The function instrument is used to insert an instrument block. The instrument block will be sent as a string, which is the second parameter, and which will be placed in the local variable s. Inside the function, a list tl is created with the new line separating the string into different indices. Next, the program checks if tl is of the correct format. If not, the program raises an error. An error is also called exception in Python. Finally, each element in TL has two spaces inserted. This is not a necessary step, just a step to make things clearer and stand out in the CSD file. The delimiting terms, instr and indin, are added as well. There are many print functions indicating what is happening. Usually, once you understand the program structure, after reading the output from a few runs, you can remove them. They will be removed in further tutorials. 5. Next, we have the function score. The function score will define a score line. A score line must have three parameters, corresponding to an instrument, the start time, and the duration. It may have other parameters, which will be understood by the instrument block. These parameters, or fields, are called P fields, and instrument is P1, start time is P2, duration is P3, and so on, if we have more P fields. Since the number of P fields is arbitrary, we may ask Python to pack any other numbers, in a tuple, with the name P. While this is not a descriptive name, p is a local variable that will be destroyed upon function completion. Again, there are extra print statements to indicate what is happening. After some test runs, we can remove them. 6. Finally, the module will have the write run function. The function write run will first write out the list L to an output file. Before a list can be sent out to some text file, it must have new line characters included. Besides looking better, this is a requirement in C sound which requires that dot codes be placed in separate lines. After writing the CSD file, we add a delay of one second, and then call the command prompt. If the command prompt window is not already open, a new window is opened, and it closes after the writing of the sound file. That is why the anaconda command prompt should be used to launch IPython so all command prompt printouts are captured and remain open. 7. You will find additional information at pythonaudio.blogspot.com 
including the source code.